Hi folks, welcome to or welcome back to Exposed and if I'm welcoming you back and you like it here I'd love it if you subbed and stayed. I had to show you the thumbnail for this video. This is not a quiet luxury haul. What, what the fuck is she saying? Crazy Friday haul, must see designer faves and airy try on. Why is she doing try ons when she does try ons in try on things? <sighs> Anywho, are we ready? Shall we jump in? Hey guys, it's Lisa. I'm putting in my Sheila Fajol. I can't remember if these are the small favorite or the petite favorite. I will find out and put the exact ones below. Matter of fact, let's just start with some Sheila Fajol jewelry. This is going to be an old school, off the chain, out of control haul. This is like the hauls I used to do. It is going to be long and lots of stuff from high, high end to Amazon. I hope that you have a good Diet Coke. <laughs> I was looking at my Diet Coke I just got or a cup of coffee or something because we're gonna have a good time. Let's start with the ear cuffs. I never wear these and I don't know why because I think they're so cool. This is the answer. If you like my doth piercing or anything else like if you're wanting to dabble into that look the ear cuff is the way to go and Sheila texted me the other day it was so funny she texted me a picture of her dog sleeping on a Gucci pillow <laughs> that we got years ago in the Gucci store she took so long picking out that pillow and then there's her dog sleeping on it. I don't know if he's normally allowed to or if that was just a funny thing. And we started talking back and forth and I asked her, you know, what bags are you loving? What shoes are you loving? Because she is very, very fashion forward, travels all over the world. And, and doesn't copy people. Why can't you just go into a shop and see what you like? Pick up what calls to you. Why are you always trying to be somebody other than yourself? And people, oh, she has such a happy life. She's so secure. They call me insecure. This is the most insecure woman ever. She doesn't trust her own fucking thought process. She copies other people down to the exact color of eyeshadow. It's pathetic. 50 odd years of age, she doesn't know how to dress, she doesn't know what she likes and spends all her time copying other people. Grow up, Lisa. Go shopping for yourself. And if you don't know her, Sheila Fajal is from Brazil. She is a jewelry designer and I met her organically through her hoops. My hairdresser at the time would always wear these great big fabulous gold hoops and I just looked at her one day. I'm like, how do you always wear those hoops? Don't, aren't they heavy? And she said, no, not these. And I ended up ordering two pair silver and gold. And then I started showing you guys those earrings and talking about them. And she reached out to me and we became such good friends. Honestly, she's one of those friends that I don't have to see often and I don't have to talk to her often, but she's in my heart and she has been a great mentor for me. She has shown me how you can be strong and soft, business minded and the softest mother and wife. I mean, she has really been a great mentor to me and I in turn hope that I can be that for you guys because I think <laughs> it leads to a very rewarding life when you embrace every part of being a woman like that. It's just, oh, it gave me chills. Ooh. That's who Sheila is. And she designs jewelry. It is handmade in Brazil. I have watched the people that work. Will you just stop and get the thing out of the packet, please? You're like that annoying git at the fucking cinema arsing about with a bag of crisps. Stop it. Here, make it. It is a fascinating process, and she provides a lot of jobs for them, childcare. Just, it's a, it's a, it's a beautiful thing. So here is another one of her ear cuffs. And this morning it was so funny. I felt like such a geek because I didn't really know 
I should have brought a mirror out here, how to put them on. But I remembered somebody saying, you put them on the thinnest part of your ear and then you slide it down like that. So I grabbed this one for that ear. Yay, I'm excited about those. I love, Yay! you know, I love new stuff. I was thinking this morning, what is it that just keeps me going as far as fashion and jewelry and makeup? Like, how have I gotten so blessed to do this and still love it as much as I do? Even the process of making videos, like, and I think it's because I don't like being bored. I have always been kind of like a hustler. I've always loved learning to do things like sewing or painting or making jewelry. Even as a little girl, I made those barrettes that had the streamers that came down. I've just always... So why don't you do that now? Why didn't you continue the hustle and continue learning to do things and start your own business? You could have had a multi-million dollar business by now, selling lipsticks and lip liners and other things, things that you're passionate about, instead of buying other people's. Loved creating. I remember when I used to sew and make window treatments and handbags. I would get so excited the night before I knew I was going to create a bag or something. And I would get so excited at the different fabrics and the different trims. And I'm just, I feel blessed because I'm always excited to be here with you guys. It, I love new stuff. I love new styles. I love a challenge. I feel, I was telling John that this morning, that I feel very blessed that even as a child, I've never been afraid of wearing something different or standing out. Back then, I kind of just felt like I didn't belong. I didn't really feel like I was standing out. I just felt like I didn't belong. And as I got older, I realized that's not what it was. It's just that I'm different and I should celebrate that. So, okay, and then my necklace is from Sheila too. It's a tiger. This is a no-brainer why I like it. I have always loved tigers and leopards and things like that oh in high school. I would have all like the animal print bathing suits. I've always liked it. It's just, I love how you are who you are as a child, you really are. So the more you can learn to embrace those things and kind of identify. Ah, oh, right, you are who you are as a child. Hmm. Hiding under a duvet when you hear your mom coming in from work. Being taken to the A&E department because she threw a huge glass ashtray at your head. Later on in life when she's holding a knife to your throat. Not everybody lived in your bubble, Lisa. Why do I do this? Why did I do this? It's It makes life even more fascinating. So, okay, enough about that deep stuff. I could get deep today. I really deep. could because I'm feeling deep. like a happy buzz today. Started. We're going to go all over the place. This is going to be just... I've seen puddles deeper than you. Deep a crazy haul. Bare Minerals. They sent me two new mineral powders, which you're thinking, so what? But they're new shades. One of them is soft medium and the other is light beige. You guys, I wanted to wear this today and I forgot. I get so into doing other things while I'm doing my makeup and just my thoughts and listening to podcasts and all that kind of stuff that I forgot. And so I came out here and got them and- Have you been on them magic mushrooms again, Lisa? Drooling over Huberman or whatever his name is. Holding onto his pencil. Sorry, his pen. I swatched both of them next to my Laura Mercier Classic Beige and you guys, these are going to be good. These are going to be good, and I promise you with all my heart, I will try these either later today or tomorrow. I really wanted to try them over like a tinted sunscreen or something like we used to for the summer, 
but I feel so good about it. And Remember when I was getting all the things that Pamela Anderson's makeup artist used in a lot of her new pictures, like when she made a comeback, which I love that for her. I'm telling you, 50s, just look forward to it if you're not in your 50s yet. So when she came back on the scene, I bought this not really you know expecting much the other day when i did my drugstore makeup video i'll put that up here and i'll list it below because i'm going to reference it probably a few times i don't have a drugstore spray that is better than high end so i wasn't just going to pull one out and use it for no reason so if you notice in that video i just kind of skipped over that part and told you to use what you like well i had used the morphe setting spray and if you will notice in that video, it got it too wet. It kind of took away the perfectness of that foundation look. And I really noticed how much I love this. So this is the best of both worlds. This is, I mean, the finest mist ever. And it sets your makeup. It does all of that stuff, like take the powdery look away but it doesn't give you back the lines and the dimension that the powder that we use takes away. So I really strongly suggest trying this. It does come in like a little tiny bottle if you just want to give it one try. And I will say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I probably use about eight sprays. I do spray it heavily, but it's such a, like I said, fine mist. Get this and give it a try. Gosh, I forgot something else from Sheila. This bracelet, tennis bracelet. I'm on the list for the necklace too. Okay, one thing I want to say, if you get some of the other jewelry that I show, like Jenny Bird or something, that's gonna be a heavier jewelry. It's more light, it's more airy and more feminine. John is not here and I couldn't put it on myself. So I want to put that on. And then I got this little ear cuff. She sent me a whole big goodie bag. So we go on the smallest part. Okay, I'm gonna have to. So there is the rhinestone one. How cool is that gonna look when you have your hair up? Or if you just have, you know, hair where your ears show more? Love it, love it. Okay, something else I got this week is another stack of these mineral eyeshadows. I'm gonna put all three of the ones I have down below because what I do is I'll use like this one from here. And I was thinking you could, you know, undo them and make your own like perfect stack. Like if you wanted to go out of town or something, I just have mine sitting out. I like looking at them anyway, and I just use what I want. But this I believe is called Serenity, yes and i love it on the website it looks like it's going to be the colors are going to be too light so you can see they're loose shadows i always do this before i start using them that way i know the pigment has gotten on the lid and then here let's open up one of these this color is pretty it's kind of like a pinky so see how just enough is on the lid Dip your brush in there, and that's, oh, this one is an extra sparkly one, too. Some of them have more shimmer than others. The perfect summertime eye. If you notice, I've just been wearing kind of like light, sheer colors. I'll, I might take a dab of the brown, put it on the corner. You know, I've been just loving these every day. So just so you know what's coming up, I've got some Dior shoes to show you. I've got some Amazon sunglasses. I've got some more fabulous free people and i would say one of the best things i have to show you today is from airy when i was in lululemon and i met one of my subscribers she told me that they had the lipstick or lip gloss pink color at airy and i was thinking oh airy i haven't thought about airy in so long because I don't go to the mall like I used to, because I'm not shopping for Brooke as much as I used to. Now she just wants money for Christmas, but I remember that was a big place that Santa Claus used to shop was Airy and American Eagle. So I have just the best stuff from Airy. Another thing I wanted to tell you is a lot of this haul is inspired by Caroline. Shop with me. I love you, Caroline. What is 
it with these narcs? They suction onto somebody, copy every fucking thing they do, then they dump them like a hot stone and go on to the next one. Hey, Caroline, or so Caroline. I can't remember. I'll put her Instagram in here. And I think, I was thinking, why am I so inspired by her? One, I think we are the same in our way of thinking, even though we express it very differently and we're very different styles. I'm this Southern girl on the East Coast, and I think she's kind of like a new... I'm a Southern girl. Yeah, go on, keep playing it as hard as you can. No one believes it anymore. York West Coast kind of girl and I'm always fascinated by new things, new styles, new people. I love it. I like to stay inspired. Just like watching that street style from Spain. And Pamela it's not inspired though, is it? If you were inspired by somebody, you'd go into your wardrobe and you'd pick out of what you already had and you'd put an outfit together. You can't do that. You have to go out and buy exactly what Caroline was wearing. There's a difference. Well, Anderson came out with the makeup. You know, I love to stay intrigued and inspired. So I'm hoping that I can pass that along to you. You know how she always has on big, funky sunglasses. And you know, I love big, funky sunglasses, so it's not that much of a stretch. So I ordered these that she has on her Amazon store. You can buy, you know, all these different colors separate, but they're always cheap when you buy them in a double. And I haven't worn them yet, but I cannot tell you how excited I am about these. They are so amazing. I will say that these fit me better. The yellow ones fit me better than those blue ones do. Oh my gosh, you guys. Are they these fit me better? We don't care what fits you. Caroline, Caroline, I love you. Car Someone thought I'd lost the plot. <laughs> they said they read the title to the video and they were like, yep, Jules has finally lost it because I had hashtag I love you, Caroline. See? See? <laughs> they not just funkalicious. I mean, they're over the top. I know. I love them. I'm very disappointed. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. These are cheap. They're cheap, you know? So... When you get cheap stuff, you don't have the quality control. You're not going to get what you get with a high-end product. It goes from cars to refrigerators to TVs to mirrors, anything, most of the time. So that's probably what's happened. Okay, they're just, I think they're bent, but I like the blue ones better. And see how they don't touch my cheeks. Like, I don't care how expensive or fabulous a pair of sunglasses. Oh my gosh, I love those so much. I don't care how fabulous they are. If they touch my cheeks, I just won't wear them. It's kind of like being in a crowd. It just freaks me out. I can't take it, ruins my makeup, and I won't do it. I think they're bent. When I move them, they're bent. That's what it is. So now they're fitting me better. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it. I've always loved sunglasses, and I will honestly say, I think the fastest, quickest way to change your look or to have style or to express your personality or anything is a pair of sunglasses. They're just, I can tell, I can tell about a person, about what kind of car they drive just because I've always been into cars. And you can tell what kind of car they drive by their sunglasses, can you? But I don't judge people. I'm just that sweet southern girl. How about blind people? How about people with bad eyesight? How about people that have to actually wear seeing fucking glasses? Do you know what car they drive? Arsehole. I can tell about a person when I see their sunglasses. I just, I love it. But... I wanted to say this. These are still my number ones from Amazon. Right. So if somebody sees you out in them blue ones, will they think you're cheap? Just saying. Amazon. After all the ones I've shown you, these are just the best. They're messed up because I've, I wear them every day to the pool because they're not too dark. They fit perfectly. They're 
funky and out there, but not as much as those. But you know what I was just thinking too? Hold on. I had to show you. You know, these are my favorite sunglasses of all times. Of all time. Time. Why do you have to put an S where there isn't one and don't put an S where there is? And for anyone who's new, that big black lump of a thing that she just ran to. Not too dark. They that fit is where perfectly. She stores her sunglasses. They're funky and out there, but not as much as those. Some of but them. But you know what I was just thinking too? Hold on. I had to show you. You know, these are my favorite sunglasses of all times. Of all times. And they're key. So I think when you do key sunglasses or Preve Revo, it's not like Amazon. You are getting good quality for the price. Absolutely. They quit making these. They were, they're called Steel Ridge. It was a collab with Paris Hilton. I bought three pair. I just Look. really begged you guys to get them and I hope you did. If you have these, you don't need, well, you might, yeah, you do still need these because they're fun. This is a cool one too. And this is a little bit more glam, but it's still that same oversized kind of in your face kind of sunglasses. Now, one of my good friends on Instagram, and she does watch my videos, she suggested this, and I just got it yesterday. It is the Coco and Eve Sunny Honey Face Tanning Mist. And last time I tried to use a face tanning mist or anything, I had not been using Obagi, and so it caught on my, any flakes or anything that I had, but now, I'm telling you, when you're on the Obagi New Term System, you don't have a flake. I always feel like, because I use such strong skincare, and then I, I'm gonna wear makeup regardless, I haven't ever worried about tanning my face, but she loves this, and she said her makeup looks better when she uses it. It says, shake well before use, use on dry skin, free from moisturizer, why are you so fucking thrown that you have to use it on dry skin? And this is probably the first time in an age that she's read instructions for fucking anything. Spray face and neck three to five times for an even coverage. Let it dry, allow to develop through the day. How am I supposed to do that and do my skincare and wear makeup? I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm leaving it up to you. I'm gonna, what is it? I'm gonna phone a friend. <laughs> really? Do you know what I've got in my head? Donnie and Marie Osmond. <laughs> that, that's why I'm leaving it up to you. That one. You decide what you want to do. That's it. I'll have that going on, on repeat in my head for the rest of the video. So I won't listen to a word you say. You're my friend. Tell me how to do this. How do you do this without your... You spray it on your face before you go to bed. Or you use it on the days that you're not going out. It's not fucking rocket science, Lisa. Because you don't want to do it like right before your skincare. So I, I'm not sure. I'm sure there's an answer because so many people do it. Okay, now we're getting into some exciting stuff. Okay, two things that I got at Nordstrom this week, I am going to have to return. This is the first one. Very Caroline inspired. And I need to be very careful because it was these were very expensive and I have found something better. These are Tom Ford sunglasses, and I'll be honest, ever since I started buying Tom Ford, Gucci, all of these sunglasses on Saks Off Fifth and Nordstrom Rack, it has been hard for me to pay full price for a pair of sunglasses. I have to feel like they are perfect, or if I'm out of town, sometimes I'll do it. But I saw these and I thought, oh my gosh, these are gonna be perfect. So I paid up for them. They're Tom Ford, they're that same look, but look, they have nose pieces. And I love nose pieces because then they won't touch your cheeks. And I just thought, oh my gosh, they're so fabulous. They say sunglasses. In their defense, they looked clear on the website, but they said sunglasses and they said UV protectant. I think they're blue light glasses. I don't think they're sunglasses. 
and there's the UPS guy. I am expecting a Sephora package and a Jenny Bird package, but I don't know if I'll get it before I do this video, so we'll see. I try them on. I'm trying to not hurt them whatsoever. Oh, I know. They're crazy, aren't they? They give me butterflies. They're so crazy, and I love them so much. But you guys, how can they be sunglasses? I mean, I know that they are blue light, but can they be blue light and UV? So I don't wanna wear them out of the house. They're called Troy. I'll have to look it up. Okay, tell me what you think. I... Really? How old is this woman? Love them but I just don't think that they're sunglasses. So let me know below. Tell me before I send them back. Go outside in the sun and see what happens. You do enough dancing around on your porch in your fucking clothes. Go and stand outside in your glasses. God, I'm only 19 minutes in. There's another half an hour of this nonsense. Back. I was convinced this morning I was sending them back. Matter of fact, I ordered, I think, three pair from Saks Off Fifth and Nordstrom Rack. And I will put pictures up here and I will put links of, I took some time and I shopped for all of the sunglasses that I liked. And I'll put the links down below. This is a Cinderella moment. I have never, I don't think I've ever seen these in person. And I think that might be a lot of my fascination with designer things. First of all, I'm not ashamed to admit, I just like sparkly, nice things. Matter of fact, I'm going to do a video on quiet luxury. I think I'm gonna do two videos because I was scripting out everything I wanted to say and how I felt about it the other day. We're watching Succession, if that tells you anything. I can't with her. And we're back, sadly. I am fine with being trendy. I'm not, like a lot of people are, you know, I'm not trendy. I don't get into the trends. I'm trendy and I know it, I always have been. I like sparkles. I like labels. I love the Gucci print. I love the Fendi print and it's just who I am. But I do understand the other. I understand the quiet luxury, but I just wanna talk about it. This is not quiet luxury. Look at these shoes. They are the Dior Slides. I've never seen these in person. If I have, I don't remember. I've never tried these on. I live in a smaller town, coastal town. We do not even have a Nordstrom. We do not have any high-end stores whatsoever. So there is a fascination with me with designer things. And I have sent a lot of stuff back. If I get it and I'm like, ooh, no, this isn't that great. These are that great. They're just beautiful. They're magical. Pink. They're sparkly. I'm sorry, I have to agree with that. I think they're really cute. I like them too. Not sure about slides for me though with completely flat feet how they'd work. But then, like I said, back in the day, I wore them skull sandals, skull, whatever. But they had a bit of a lump in them, didn't they? Or did they? I don't know. And I realised, I never said in that story, I sent Denise home. This didn't all happen in front of a little two-year-old. When she start, that girl started going on about, oh, that stone hurt my foot, I said to Denise, oh, can you go and tell mummy that um, I need her to watch you for five minutes while I do something? And she went home and then I laid into the girl. but Because I didn't say that and I thought, God, people will be thinking I went apeshit in front of a two-year-old. And it's like, no, I'd never do that. Anyway, I do like these pink sparkly shoes. If you want this look, but you don't want to pay that price, Steve Madden, I went ahead and looked on the website and found a pair, a couple of pair that I like. Yeah. You don't always have to get these in this sparkle. I just happen to like these. I ordered them from my, um, what do you call the person? I can't remember the little fancy name. Oh, S.A., S.A. I ordered them from my S.A. from Saks that I have worked with for years, and she sent them. 
you're not working with them. God, I hate it when they do that. I worked with my SA. No, you rang whoever it was and said, have you got those shoes? Can you get them for me? Them to me, of course I bought them and she sent them and I love them so much. I think they're fabulous. I wasn't going to keep the box because I've gotten where I just don't keep all my boxes, but they came with extra crystals and stuff like that. So I'm going to keep the box, but they're gorgeous. What I'm going to wear these with, I think I'm going to show you a pair of jeans that are really rough and edgy looking. And I think these look great with that look. I think these are going to look great with, you know me, I will wear these with leggings and a big old sweatshirt. I love to mix it up. I will also wear these if I want to with a pink dress. I just think there's a lot of options. They're very comfortable and I love them. Yay, the UPS guy is here. Okay, let's see what I got. Let's see what I got. Okay, the Huda Beauty Lip Blush. Color I thought John wasn't there. How did you get into the box? People need answers, Lisa. How <laughs> did you open it on your own? color I got is Rosy Kiss. Right now I've got on that, yeah, that, another thing I'll refer you to that vi my last video, it's that new L'Oreal lipstick, a must have. I've worn it every day. I wore it in my um, Express video. If you didn't see that, I'll put it up here, but I wore it in that video too. Transfer and Kiss Proof, wow. So that's what it looks like. The packaging's really pretty. Okay. <gasps> she's got such a gormless face on her when she's looking at new stuff. Have you noticed? And that naughty dog thing she does. Huh, hmm, yeah, okay. Every day. I wore it in my um, Express video. If you didn't see that, I'll put it up here, but I wore it in that video too. Transfer and kiss proof. Wow. So that's what it looks like. The packaging's really pretty. Okay, <gasps> that's pretty. That's not what I thought. That is going to be interesting. This may be very valuable for like putting underneath other lipsticks so that when it wears off, you have this stain. Love that. And I know a lot of people that wear a stain like to bed or no matter what, because they just don't want to look at themselves. It's kind of like microblading your eyebrows. You know, you want to wake up with your eyebrows on. Okay, what is this? Seems like seems like it was lip heavy because that's my favorite thing. Wet stick moisturizing lip shine from Kosas Kosas Kosas, and the color I got is Skinny Dip. Ooh, look at that goodness! Oh. Somebody said, "Why does she always hold her arm into the the, the past month?" over there and doesn't be that's where she needs to be to see it properly because round here there's like 900 watt bulbs you know like when you go for a smear test yeah there's one of them right on her face to get rid of all the the wrinkles and rumples and bumples and to make her look 10 years younger and then when she puts something on she can't see it so she has to go over there to see what it looks like so we never get to see what the real color is unless it's in a separate picture that she just took a picture and didn't have the lights on oh my gosh you guys i've done it again oh my gosh okay here i'm gonna put it somewhere easier to see this is magnificent so i just wiped those off and you can see it did indeed stain my is will home he will be now won't he will because um he's done with school so when does college start ours is different to yours we go back you break up earlier and go back earlier we go back later than you i think i so hope he'd get a place at a college miles away and live in then stay at home we'll see I predict a good future for Will, though. I can see him being, getting a really good career and doing really well for himself. Hand. I got the Glow Recipe Plum Plump Hyaluronic Gloss Balm. Uh, agreed, lips were 100% more nourished and lips were improved after one use. So it comes in the typical Glow Recipe. Beautiful, beautiful little container. It's not as like goopy as the, the Laneige 
but yet it's not as hard as the like Dior balm or something like that. And not a lot of fragrance at all. Wow, okay, this is gonna be something good for a lot of you because if you're like me, I don't like a whole bunch of fragrance like right before I go to bed. Okay, yeah, I, I was gonna say, did I get anything like really exciting? Did I get anything really exciting? That, what you've got so far, would be really exciting for a lot of people. It just shows how spoiled she is. I did, I did. I got Bondi Boost Volume and Texture Styling Cream. I think this was under the new hair stuff. Why do you need texture cream when you've already got textured hair? Oh my gosh, my microphone has been turned around for a while. Sorry. Volume, texture, and styling cream. I feel like there was a reason, like this evidently got like really, really good reviews. Versatile volume, made in Australia. I don't think I've ever, ever tried anything from this line. Added volume and texture, lightweight, soft hold, and suitable for fine to medium hair. Squeeze a small amount into palm, distribute through towel dried hair, comb through, even just da, 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 and then- Why are you reading it to us? You won't remember what it said and you won't do what it said either. So what's the point? I dry for added lift, tilt head upside down and dry roots first. And two Dior products. This is the new Rosy Glow. What was that face for? Glow blush in the color I chose. I already have the coral one and the pink one. So I chose the, ooh, I chose the rosewood. That's what it looks like in the package. No, that isn't what it looks like in the package. That's the picture on the lid. It'll be different when you open it. If you have the other two, you should know that already. But I'm thinking it's not that dark. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is pretty. Okay, that is an interesting color because it's kind of tawny. It's got like a peachiness, peachy brown rosy. <laughs> Does that make sense? No. Peachy brown tawny what? You really, really, really can't describe colour. Just like I can't describe scent. Why do you do it? Shall that be the thing? Or should it be the one with the stupid sunglasses? We shall decide. Yes. Okay, that is pretty. Okay, excited about that. And then I ordered a new five color eye palette. I don't think I've ever seen this one. Ooh, it's kind of like a new container. Yeah, and it's called Poncho. Oh my gosh. This is good. This is going to be good. Brown. This doesn't happen often. There's not a bad one in the bunch. There is not a color here that I don't think that I wouldn't use. A lot of times they'll throw some just craziness in there. That is so pretty. Okay, we'll try that soon. I was thinking if you guys... We, you, you, you'll try it. I'm not there. Where's my one-way ticket to fucking Wilmington so I can sit on the sink and watch you put your makeup on? You guys want me to, maybe we'll do, since we just did a drugstore makeup, maybe we can do a high-end makeup look and i'll promise i will try not to get so crazy with the eyeliner that just happens sometimes it's hard when you're used to doing your makeup in your bathroom in the mirror and then you have to do it like in a different place in a different mirror it's sometimes that happens so i'm sorry that i ended up being a very glam look when i did not intend that so the next one we will use brown liner okay <laughs> these shoes are crazy they're crazy, and I cannot even blame Caroline or anyone for these except for Instagram. The funny thing is, I'm not a person who scrolls endlessly on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I go on there to talk to you guys, period, end of story. I do get inspired by certain people, I can't lie. There are some people that I will check with, but I'm not, honestly, it makes me sick, and I told you this before a long time ago, the scrolling, I get car sick easy. I cannot ride rides. You will never worry about me bungee jumping. I, think I have nightmares all the time about falling off of like a Ferris wheel or something. I don't like that. 
movement. Somebody put these right in my face over and over again, and I ordered them. I don't know if I'm gonna like them, but I will say this. They got here quick. Ever since I ordered these, I have gotten the, the sweetest emails, <laughs> which I know that they're mass emails, but like the owner of this company has sent out the sweetest little emails, you know? It's like, she makes you like want to like her. For some brands, they don't care. And these weren't cheap. They weren't as expensive as like Dior or something, but they weren't cheap. I've never heard of it, but it is Daniela Chevelle cool name. I'm excited. Oh my gosh. Okay, they're so crazy. She's like a fucking three-year-old child at Christmas. And she does this day in, day out, day in, day out. It's insane. Totally fucking insane. They're so crazy. Look. <laughs> The what only thing about? that is going to freak me out is the heel. I wish the heel was, like I don't want it to have a stiletto heel. I think I wish it was like one inch taller. Do you guys remember? I think they're cute looking. What's mad about them? Remember when I used to love the Newberry booties from Rag and & Bone and then I got the ones that were, I think they were like a netting. I always regretted selling those because they were so unique. And so when I saw these, it reminded me, I, don't, I think I'm gonna keep these because I think they're so cool. They're just so cool. So you tie them up like you want to fit your foot. Your whole foot shows through. These look so good with like cargo pants, joggers, all of those things that I love. And you know, I love to showcase a really cool shoe and you get to zip it up. You don't have to tie it up every time. They look so much better with skin. You know my favorite color, skin. I love, I love nude stuff and where your skin shows through. It's so fresh and young. Don't be afraid to show your skin a little bit. It's vibrant, it's so feminine. Oh, I love these, Daniela. You did a good job. Let's continue with shoes. I don't think I have any bargain shoes this week. Oh, I do, I do. I got them on. <laughs> Look. Oh, for the love of God. I just can't. What is she taking? She's on something, isn't she? She's gotta be. At my new Javianas. They're the same style. The sticker off because these suckers are, I've already been wearing them all around the house. They're the same style I love, but look, they have a little skinny, not sparkly, but shiny, almost patent looking strap. I love the way in these shoes, my foot fills up this whole shoe and I just like that. These are my favorites. I love them and I love this little fancy black ones. This is gonna look good with anything. If you like those, you are going to like these. When I was in Home Depot a couple of weeks ago, there was a man and wife in there looking in the garden department and she had on a little sundress very similar to my farm. Re See, right, listen to this story and listen to the detail that she'll have because she stares and she takes everything in and she looks at everything, she clocks everything. Oh, I don't make assumptions about people or whatever, yeah. I can tell what car they drive by, their sunglasses. Rio dress, I will say, that was in my Saks video, I will say that dress, now that is a piece that you can tell it costs more money and it was worth more money. That dress is so nice. It fits so nice. I wore it to Will's graduation. It is quite- Oh, so you're gonna talk about the dress you wore to Will's graduation, but you're not gonna congratulate your son on graduating with honors. I don't care what you wore. I'm not in the least bit fucking interested in what you wore. I want you, you, to, you to say something nice about your son for a change is what I want. 
quality. I see what the Farm Rio fuss is all about. So I saw a girl in there with a dress kind of shaped like that, kind of like a little baby doll dress. And she had on a pair of wedges, like I always say I don't like, that were the same, like a flat wedge sandal. And it just looked so good because it gave her a little bit of that dressed up look, yet she still looked low key and comfortable, but she just looked really pretty. Well, the first ones I thought of are the C by Chloe, but when I looked at them, I just couldn't order them because I didn't want that strap around my ankle. And I just, I don't like the way it feels, I don't like the way it looks, and I don't wanna have to do it. So I saw these on the Nordstrom website and just tell the truth, you don't know how to do a buckle up when John's not there. I'm telling you, they are a work of art. I did try them on one time, but I don't want to try them on again because I have to return them. They're too small. Look at these. There we go. Look, there's a strap around your ankle. Blue Bouton. Are they not beautiful they're everything that you love in a shoe they're Dude. sparkly but they yet they still have this summer little espadrille looking type thing they've got the edginess but then they've got the patent which is dressy they are exquisite they really are and honestly if like if they didn't have the size up i probably would keep these but I ordered the 38, which is an eight. I'm like, why did I do that? I know that Louboutins run small. So I went and looked at my wedges that are very similar to this, that are some of my all time favorite shoes. And I ordered a 39 in those. So I immediately went on the website and I ordered a 39 and I told John, I said, I'm gonna send these back and get the other ones. He said, well, don't send those back until you get the other ones, just in case those are too big but I really feel strongly that I should have gotten a 39. So if you order, order one size up. They also have them in white, but what would be perfection would be gold or nude. I haven't even looked. I just saw these and it was just like, psh, I got them. These are a pair of shoes. I just saw these and it was, psh, I got them. Isn't it, psh, I got them with everything that will turn heads, be comfortable, go with so many things, and I just don't think you'll regret them. Okay, so two more pair in so, a totally different direction, and I love that about my style. I love that I can go from a skinny stiletto, just like the Schutz Clear Ariella or something like that, and then I can go to a boot, a flip-flop. I love that. So kind of let yourself explore different styles and you'll know how it feels. Like when I put on that express outfit the other night or the other day, the peach top with the tight jeans, I could not get it off fast enough. And I know a lot of you said those jeans, you like the way they fit. I did not feel good in that outfit and it didn't give the feeling or the look that I wanted and I could not get it off quick enough. So you'll know when you put something on if it's not you or not, and you just, that it's that easy, but I want you to try new things. Okay, I've already shown you these. No, you haven't. But these make my heart skip a beat too. This was another pair of shoes that when I opened the box, I thought, Lord, please let these fit me because I do not want to not have these. I don't even know how much I'll end up wearing these, but I will tell you they are comfortable. I feel like they might be more comfortable than the Birkenstocks that I have but they're, they're not cheap. They're J.W. Anderson. You might remember, I didn't remember this line until I remembered these that have the big, great big chain across the top. Well, that never thrilled me. But when I saw Caroline wearing these, I was like, I want those. So it took me a while to figure out what they were. And then I found them on Farfetch on sale. So if they're not sold out, they come in pink too. These look so good with just sweatpants, anything. They are over the top, but you wear them on the day that you want to feel over the top. They're beautiful, they really are. And they're, they're comfortable. I mean, they're practical, beautiful. Can anybody tell me, give me a ballpark figure of how many pairs of shoes you think this woman owns? 
They went on about Imelda Marcos. She's nothing compared to Lisa Duncan. And I think that you would love them. And these are much like those. I would have never heard of this brand. And that is why I love discovering new people. Kind of like when we did the Pamela Anderson makeup, I had never heard of whatever brow product that was, but I love the brow pencil. That's why I think YouTube is intriguing, is like, remember how we used to do the swaps and learn about different makeup in different countries? We don't do that as much as we used to. But I had never heard of Rome shoes, R-O-A-M. But Caroline wears these too. Now they sell this I love you, Caroline. type of shoe, like on Free People, Anthropology, maybe even Walmart or- oh, I'm sorry, it's way past my bedtime. <laughs> yeah, well, no, I get stupid tired. Or, you know Amazon or whatever but I wanted to I can already tell she knows what the good stuff is so I wanted to try these and they weren't crazy expensive it's a smaller line a smaller brand I think it's good to support like smaller businesses sometimes and I will say that when you first put them on you have to kind of squinch your foot squunch. into them but they're real leather they're very very puffy squunch <laughs> Has anyone ever heard anyone use the word squanch before? <laughs> Is that a technical term, Lisa? And I feel like they're going to stretch and kind of get worn in. Very light, and I think I'm going to like them. Okay, so let's get this party started. Okay, I'm going to put my ugly microphone on just so you can hear while I'm moving around. But you guys, look at this outfit. This is airy, but see how it's almost like that gauzy look that we love from some of the Gap Green. stuff. And then the pants, oh my goodness, you guys, look at this. They could not be any more comfortable. Pockets, and they do have like this little slit on the side. They're kind of um, vacay vibes, you know what I mean? Like beachy or wear around the house. I think they look good with the Javianas. You could do a wedge with this if you wanted to, but I think the value in little outfits like this is that it's easy. You keep this together. You pull it out, it's a whole outfit. Then it's easy. Because Lisa doesn't know how to dress herself, people. So that's why she always got sets. So she just pulled the thing out and that was the whole outfit. To put on any pair of shoes, any jewelry and you're comfortable but you look put together and impressive you look stylish i love it i love it i got it in a pink color and i think this is what she was talking about with the lip gloss color so oh i'm sorry people say i'm mean to lisa i'm not i don't pick at her for no good reason but that there looks really dehydrated and old lisa there's no point in having a young, taut face if your boobs look like they belong on a 90-year-old. Hold on. Look at this. That's cute. So this is the same outfit, just in the pink. And I'll be honest with you. Why doesn't it hang right on the coat hanger? Put it on properly, fuck's sake. I just got this. Brooke just steamed it for, for me, my daughter, that's 23. Like, right now, I'm... My daughter, Brooke, that's 23. I don't look like I've got a daughter of 23. Do I? Do I? Do I? Do I? She's doing it deliberate. Did you see the smirk? Same outfit, just in the pink. And I'll be honest with you, I just got this. Brooke just steamed it for, for me, my daughter, that's 23. Like right now, I'm like wanting to go on the website and see what other colors they have. Because this is, you could sleep in this. You could do whatever. It's just that good. You can see the details a lot better because of it being pink instead of the black. So it's the crinkle gauze. And, oh, it's just so pretty, you guys. This is like a hibiscus. It's beautiful. And then this is the top. So you have... She hasn't done a great job of steaming that, has she? Your raw edge, your little bit of cropped... Like, this is what I like. I oh, like. That's cr Stop scrunching it up. You said she just steamed it and now you're screwing it up in a ball. 
I like the black top then. If I thought the pink top was the same as the black one and just hung wrong. To look good and feel good and be comfy. I love it. I love it. They really did good with that. I just got this. I haven't steamed it. I don't even know if I'll need to, but this is the exact outfit that I had on last week. And I know that they are getting sold out, but I think this is a staple set on Free People. I think they always have it. And a good friend of mine showed me the one that they have on, an not Anthropology, but on Amazon. And I will say this is 100% cotton and the one on Amazon that's cheaper is like polyester. And there is a big difference when you are wearing stuff like this. I remember getting a lot of these little outfits from like Nasty Gal or Boohoo or one of those really cheap places and they looked good, but they didn't feel good. They didn't feel yummy. They felt kind of, I don't know, like hot and just uncomfortable cheap and nasty and you can afford better now can't you well i think you're better off to buy one good set than to get those ones that are knockoffs unless you can find another cotton one can i can I put take, this i've got can i take boho as boohoo i'm taking it <laughs> like a naywai bralette and that's what i'll have on in some of the pictures so um i'm gonna put that right there yay and, but this is a set I got, no matter what it's called. It's this little strapless top and then these pants. This is something cool. To I love you, Caroline. Can you see me, Caroline? You, Caroline, I'm buying all the things you're buying, Caroline. I'm your number one fan. If you die, no, if I die, you die. Is it bedtime yet? To have for I know a lot of you are going on vacations for me I will just wear it on the everyday but I love it okay so that was all of my free people but I wanted to get another set like I had last week if you didn't see that video I'll put it up here so you can see what it looks like on but it just feels like this I would have to say this might even be more comfortable just because it's less fabric but it still gives you that really, I feel good feeling. I ordered this from Aerie just to put over my bathing suit, just your classic cover up. I've been oh, you should have got the see-through dress that Lardy got. Did she not tell you about that from Shein for Duppin's Apney? Yeah, I'm sure you would have loved that one. It's just like that. I've been wearing my Gap white long button-up tunic and loving it so i like something like this i've never really liked wearing shorts and a top or i remember it was way before youtube i kind of loved that look of a real true cover-up like when i was little i always had like a terry cloth cover-up and i bought a bunch of them i didn't like that either i like something that's really loose and i usually like white because black gets so hot and i just thought that was beautiful isn't it sweet? <laughs> this little kind of off the shoulder, easy breezy type of sweater in that same lip gloss color. Very free people inspired or anthropology. If you've been here with me long enough, you have seen my cycles of styles, but I've always loved those sweatshirts and sweaters that kind of go off the shoulder. And that's what this reminds me of. I am hoping this is gonna be similar to the Susie Condi. I love the Suzy Condi jumpsuits. They're expensive, but to me, they're worth every penny. It's kind of like the Farm Rio. When you put them on, you realize, you know, why you like them. Okay, speaking of big, sloppy, fabulous sweatshirts. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'd actually like that one. It's got a hood. It looks really comfy. It stopped the drafts, but we don't have airy in the UK. This so. is fabulous. And, it's, it's <laughs> and I know anyway. I just showed you the ones from Anthropology and Free People, but this is, this is good. This is very, I could wear this over a bikini too, easily. It does have a hood, but because it's like this and it's so thin, see how it's, it's, I don't think I'll feel like I have a monkey on my back with that one. And it's not going to make me feel like I'm choking, but I love it. This with anything. Your shorts, your biker shorts, just 
around the house, to bed, over your gym clothes, whatever. I mean, a sweatshirt's a sweatshirt, and it's very thin. Okay, and then I got this little sweatshirt type thing. This is more of your crop. How many sweatshirts does one woman need? Cropped. I'm not sure that this color is going to look good on me, but I always love nude colors. Wow, that's gonna go with everything though. Look how cool that is. I think this stuff looks expensive. I mean, it, when I say expensive, I mean anthropology or free people. For it to be from Airy, and Airy always has good, good sales. And then this good, this reminds me of something my mom would like. Like for an oversized sweatshirt, she would like this. Good neckline. Again, it's thin, very thin, still soft. And I didn't even notice it, but Brooke noticed that when she was steaming it, the seashell. Okay, get ready for this. I'm ready for the comments because most of you are not going to like these. In the past, I have shown you all of my crazy jeans and I just thought about this. You know, another person that really inspires me as far as fashion is Kelly Worsler. She's the designer of that lamp. And whenever I got that lamp, and a pop-up pirate lamp. Now we know where it came from. <laughs> a friend of mine kind of introduced me to the world of Kelly Worsler. Her fashion is over the top, fabulous. I think she's right around my age somewhere. She's definitely not, you know, like 20s or 30s. I think she's like either late 40s, somewhere around me. I, I think she's the one that got me inspired to get those jeans that are cut on the side and everybody hates them. So if you hate those, you're gonna hate these, but here they are. These are the R13 crossover jeans. So they cross over like that and they're baggy. Even John liked these. So these are staying, they're so cool. They were on my mind, but I thought, nah, you know, I don't need them. And then I saw another friend of mine on Caroline. Instagram. She was doing her outfit of the day. And this girl is very classy. Like she's Mrs. Hermes, you know, so fashion forward. And she had these on and they looked so good on her. So it inspired me to get them and I'm so glad I did. They're very, like if you liked the Cory, um, what was it, Citizens of Humanity Cory or any of the, uh, what is the other, a lot of the mother jeans, a lot of the jeans that are just really worn in like this, then you would love these. Oh. And then, you know I love the Aviator Nation sweatpants. I tried the smalls, they fit, but not like I want them to. I like the mediums, I love them. I wore the ones the other day that have the leopard, you know, down the side, I love them and they are a little bit more expensive. A friend of mine showed me these on Amazon and they have the gray and they have black. They're the exact same type of fit. They're thin and then these have this on the back, spiritual gangster. And I, I'm pretty sure I think that's just the brand. Yeah, spiritual gangster. I did get the medium and these are still- oh, why don't you just Pull them down all together and show us your lady garden. Not cheap, but they're not as expensive as the Aviator Nation, and I think they're pretty cool. I love these. I know years and years ago, I don't know if you remember, I got into the, was it Monroe? I think Splendid and Monroe makes a thin jogger like this too, and I just love them. They're very easy to wear, even in the winter for me because it doesn't get real cold here and I love them with Uggs. And then last but not least, the first time I saw this robe was on Valeria. She had this robe on. A lot of times she does her outfits of the day in the closet and she'll come in with this robe on, but hers has the evil eye on it. I think it's like cream with a blue evil eye. And I love the look of it and everything. I'm just someone who doesn't want to wear the evil eye. That's just not my thing. And so... It's not the evil eye. Read up on it, Lisa. So I didn't think about it again. And then I saw Caroline wearing that same robe, the same one that Valeria... I love you, Caroline! <laughs> ...had on and I was like, wait a minute. So I asked a friend that watches 
them too. And she said, oh, it's Etsy. So I looked on Etsy and they had this design, which is just my favorite thing, the sunshine. This is a Turkish cotton robe. And let me tell you, I kept thinking, where is that robe? Like I had ordered it, like a week went by, and I was thinking, where is that robe? It's legit, it's from Istanbul, Turkey. So this is Turkish cotton, and DHL delivered it. I wore it last night after I got out of the shower, and I wore it this morning, just so I could tell you guys how good it feels. It's amazing. So you didn't wash it before you wore it then? Amazing. I'm so excited. Every day is so exciting to get dressed. So I hope you enjoyed it. Every day is so exciting to get dressed because you, you've got that much to choose from and you've got fuck all else to do. Gee. Um, I've told you about all my jewelry. My nail polish is Funny Bunny. One coat of Funny Bunny. This is an older Sheila Fajal ring and my Bulova watch. Kind of like a retro watch. I will see you this weekend, but not with Zara. I'm gonna do my Gap try-on haul this weekend because it's Gap cash time. So I'm gonna do my Gap try-on haul this weekend and we'll just resume with Zara next weekend. So I hope to see you there. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. What, no Zara? I won't be able to sleep this weekend. Hey, Shanene. Right. She must have said sexy at some point because she always does and I just missed it. I'm not sure about anything else though. We damn near got bingo a few times, didn't we? I don't think what I've missed would give us bingo anyway because she didn't say rumple bumple. She didn't say moto jacket, even if she did say you know what I mean. And she didn't say I'm scared, I don't think. Anywho, I have finally got to the end. I can now watch some television and relax. And I will see you all in the next one.